That's interesting to hear. And I, you know, I, I do a lot of similar work and I've, we've had a few guests on the show who've talked to the power of messaging, you know, I've been in business a year myself. So I'm, I'm kind of, I'm in a weird position where I'm kind of, I sit in both camps that the audience I've intended the podcast is for. So, and again, that's why I'm inviting the guests on the show that I'm inviting because I want to learn from people who've been there and done it and, 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 and got lots of battle scars from, from all the different challenges. But I know even in the last year, my messaging's changed at least three times as I've figured out who I want to speak to, yeah. how to talk to my audience about what I do. And I thought I had it figured out before I launched the business. Like everybody does. Everybody, you know, oh, nobody, you know, I'll build it and they will come. They'll love what I'm doing. And actually, oh, no, they don't because what's in it for me? And you, and you can't tell them because it's so hard to talk about your own business sometimes, your own organization. Is, is that something that you right. find? Outside. Yeah. Yeah, it's people are very close to it, whether you're whether it's a startup founder or small business owner, they're so close to it that they don't see what what we see. And that's part of the hard talk, the real talk that I have to have with folks is I know that you think that this is going to appeal to people, but you've tried it for how many months, how many years? And it hasn't because I'm telling you right now, it hasn't been tested. People are not responding. Um, so it's a lot of real talk with folks. And it is. It is personal and painful for some people because they are so vested. It is their business or their startup and they founded it. Um, so we do have to have that hard talk with folks to get, get to the meat of it. Um, and then testing. I really believe in testing and we need to give things time, but we also at the same time don't want to linger on messages for a very long time, especially if they're not producing results. So it's kind of that balance of we want to test a bunch of different things and give it you know, a month, two months, but at some point we do need to stop and pivot if things aren't working. Yeah, I'll And that's hard that. for business owners to digest and make that move. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you hit on it. You hit on it quite perfectly in that um, it's very personal, especially when you're the business owner, especially when you started it. And I know I've got quite an open mind. Um, I'm, I'm quite fortunate. I've, I've maybe come to things a little bit later. I'm a little bit, I wouldn't say wiser, but I'm a, I'm a little bit older. Uh, I've learned to kind of take things a bit more on the chin. And as one of my clients says, you know, nobody else knows your chessboard but you. So everybody has an opinion on your messaging. And it can be quite daunting sometimes to go, well, I think that person's wrong and I think this person's right. And I'm going to listen to this person over here, but I feel this. And so that's why for me, it's quite beneficial to have somebody like yourself, Andrea, come in who is invested in getting the right message for me. And who has gone through that process with lots of other organizers to know what, what might or might not work based on mm -hmm. who I am. And I think that's, that's quite important. 